As one of the themes of the conference this year is alternative fuels, what's your personal view about the alternative fuel mix facing the industry? Yeah, so it's, it's obviously it's extremely uh, exciting times, um, not just now also with the 2020, but now also as we go into 2050, which is obviously not just a problem for our industry, it's a problem for, for every industry. And, you know, every day we open the newspaper, there's something about how will the energy mix uh, look like in the future. So it's, it's fantastic to be, to be part of this. And uh, I think this uh, conference has been really great and getting so many different uh, stakeholders together. Um, because obviously there are different opinions out there, but I think it has been uh, really interesting to see, um, yeah, to get an objective view on, on things as well. Perfect. And uh, you've already mentioned some of the most interesting things about the conference, but um, is there a particular element of the conference that you found most interesting? We have some detailed technical sessions on different alternative fuels, or, but, but also we've had some regulatory sessions. Yeah. Um, so I, I think a good conference always makes when you have a broader picture on things as well. So when you have, we have everything, we had like uh, the, uh, the umbrella views, I think, in the morning. But then also, I think it has been really nice to sh hear like from ship owners on certain projects, some real life experience with different technologies, because especially with the alternative fuels, I think it's so easy to have like preconceptions on things, things don't work or this will never happen. And then actually, it's really nice to hear from people who build these things that it's actually possible to do it. And I think that's what we need more of in general to, to share, to share information, yeah. Perfect. And um, perhaps could we just ask uh, Alpha Laval, obviously one of the most important suppliers to the industry and involved in, in lots of different areas. Do you want to give us some information about how you, uh, Alpha Laval is preparing to meet the challenges of the, the 2030? Targets. Yes. Um, so for us, this is an amazing opportunity as well. I mean, we have been a partner to the industry for a very long time. Uh, we have been, you know, selling first separator more than 100 years ago to a Navy vessel. Um, so we, we are an engineering company and we will continue to develop um, what the market needs. So um, there are a lot of different, um, you know, ways on how the future could look like. And I think it's really important always to, uh, to get the timescales right as well. We cannot discuss, you know, um, the solutions for the next five years as a solution for 2050. So we have our strategy for the next 10, 15 years, uh, and we have a strategy also for 2030 to 2050. So um, I am quite sure that you know LNG and also the um, the HSFO and the scrubber solutions will have a, a very strong place uh, in, in the market for the next 10, 15 years, uh, and, and probably further. Um, and uh, we are also already working with a lot of different other propulsion uh, methods. So we have launched a, a methanol uh, fuel conditioning system some years ago. We have launched like LPG systems, um, and LPG is one of these uh, interesting fuels as well. It's it's still a fossil fuel, but uh, if you look at the uh, the boiling point of LPG, it's quite similar to ammonia. So in a way, it's it's an interesting bridging technology as well. If you go to LPG, it, you may have the technology already for 2050 on, on board. So, but um, at Alpha Laval, we, we, we are a whole system provider, and we will work with all the different uh, energy uh, solutions that are out there and that are required by the market. Perfect. And just a, a last thought. It's the motor ship centenary this year, we're looking back over some of the most important efficiency improvements over the last century. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, your, your history is longer than that, but within you thinking more personally, thinking about your own career, can you think of what have been the most interesting efficiency improvements that you've seen? Yeah, um, I might be a little bit biased now in answer this question because I'm responsible for for our fuel and uh, loop separators. And just here, as I mentioned, we are selling the system for more than 100 years. Uh, and 130 years ago, we sold them to milk applications when you still had to do everything by hand, basically, you know, turn the shaft. So I think we have achieved amazing rates of uh, uh, separation efficiency improvements over the last years. Uh, we also launched a system that's called FlowSync, uh, which gives an additional, what we have seen in the field test as well, 45% extra separation efficiency. Um, so that is, uh, I think that has been a, a great achievement um, with, um, yeah, what, what has happened, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.